This is a really special day for all of us here at AT&T Sportsnet. We are celebrating 30 years of Stan Saverin working for our station. Of course, knowing Stan, there might be 30 more years still left in his tank. For 46 years, Stan Saverin has been the conscience of Pittsburgh sports reporting. Exceedingly smart, hardworking, informed, and opinionated. I don't know if there's a physical or biological thing as a photographic memory. I don't know if that actually exists, but if it does, he has one. He's the most knowledgeable and informed guy that I've ever worked with. He takes that God-given ability and he multiplies it by work ethic. He's got the work ethic of a mule. The guy never, ever mails it in. Well, if Mike Lang will forgive me for plagiarizing, great balls of fire. What a period of hockey. Stan has been in the Pittsburgh media since 1976, and he's been with our station for 30 years. First joining in 1992 to co-host the iconic show Sports Beat with Guy Junker. But I got a new partner to help me out. Uh, Mr. Junker, excuse me, uh, are these the papers you wanted? Stan, put those right over there. Yes, sir, right away. I'd be glad to. Stan Saverin and me, Guy Junker, weeknights at 7. The pair worked together for almost 12 years, interviewing all of the biggest names in local sports. And on behalf of all those who feel as I do, thank you so much for all you've done for all of us. Well, Stan, it's those kind of comments that are going to help me get through this, believe it or not. And some of the biggest names on the national scene as well. It's my distinct privilege to welcome to our show the heavyweight champion of the world. Are today's players, the modern day player, better than they were back when you played in the 50s and 60s? Well, I don't know that they're better. Everyone in our neighborhood congratulates you on your 2000th program. Stan, Guy, love the show. Speedy delivery. And their interactions with fans who called the show became legendary. Stan, Guy, first off, love the show. And we watch you every night. Uh, you're our only link to uh, keep us away from New York sports. We're only a free phone call away, Bob. Stan's uncompromising approach helped make the show both successful and influential. I think it's very unfair to ask a city with a declining population and thus a declining tax base to have to shoulder the whole load. We hope to complete it before the end of the month. So that's where we're at. What do you hope to complete? The deal. A okay. deal. I've always believed that my first responsibility was to the listener and the viewer, not the ball clubs, not the owners of the stations. My basic responsibility is to be honest and forthright and accurate and true and credible. You're a player and a person of a lifetime and several generations, and you've just thrilled all of this. And if anything that can bounce back to you, then it's all been worthwhile. Stan kept going on Sports Beat for another six years after Guy and Fox Sportsnet parted ways in 2002, and he's continued to be a visible, vibrant, and important part of the Pittsburgh sports scene on TV and radio. He was inducted into the Western Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame in 2003, and the Pittsburgh Media Wall of Fame in 2018. He's treated his co-workers like family, and he's provided mentorship to all of us through his dedication and excellence to his craft. He is, as Mark Madden labeled him, the godfather, a friend, an icon, one of the true giants in Pittsburgh media history.